One step closer to a new weapon in the fight against a virus that's killed more than 290 thousand Americans. FDA experts voted to endorse Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine today, paving the way for the last stamp of approval from the agency itself. The vote wasn't unanimous, though. KVU's Luis De Leon spoke with Texas doctors about vaccine concerns and what this means for the future. A big decision from an FDA advisory committee on a COVID-19 vaccine. So we do have a favorable vote. The vote comes a day after the U.S. broke another record of COVID-19 deaths with more than 3,000 on Wednesday. 17 on the panel voted to recommend Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine get emergency use authorization. Four voted no. Some of the FDA panelists who voted no said they were concerned over age limits on the vaccine, saying it should be bumped up from 16 to 18. Dr. Diana Fite, the president of the Texas Medical Association, says those no votes aren't shocking. I think that a few would not be a surprise under this circumstance of giving it as an emergency authorization. Travis County hospitals are expected to get 13,000 vaccines this first time around. Dr. Fight says it's a step in the right direction, but understands the concerns some may have. I think people were a little concerned about how rapidly it was made, but this was done by a different technique that has been studied for quite a few years, but was now ready for production. A November poll from the Pew Research Center found 39% of U.S. adults would not get it now. Any vaccination often has some side effects in people. It's usually very rapid. Overall, she's hoping people warm up to getting a shot when the time comes. But we've got to get people out and about again and uh, to, to work to their businesses, to schools. Uh, we need this vaccination. In Austin, I'm Luis DeLeon.